Hello and welcome to another episode of Tag Wars Pitching 2005, the real time calendar. For the 4th of October, we've got the Greek Isles Challenge. I can't seem to escape these hard uh, courses lately. If I play a PGA Tour season mode, it's the MO Dragon. If it's the real time calendar, which I've, I've done to try and escape the MO Dragon, it's the Greek Isles, which is probably the harder of the two, to be fair. Hopefully, hopefully we can do this in the fir you know the first time, and we're fine. Let's do it. Allows for long drives down the fairway. So the question here is, what is the target score? Because if it's just like birdies, I mean that wind is insane. If it's just birdies, we might be all right. I'm gonna play a normal shot and not just stays in the fairway. It's going, going okay, we're fine. He ripped it. Well, getting onto the green here is gonna be awkward with that wind. Is it forward left? I'm gonna play a normal shot and see what happens. The shot should find the green. Not a great deal. That's so we didn't really do a lot. Not great. This is but I'm gonna have to par this and just hope par's enough here. Once again, it's, it's Greek Isles, so it could just be a completely lucky if you can do it or not, depending on which holes get the harder wind. It was like that for the par four challenge for this one earlier. In the real time calendar. I think that's close, probably not in. Uh, I think the no, not enough power, and that could be it. That could be a um, challenge done, we have to restart. 31. 31 seems lenient, I've got to say. Because three shots per hole will be 27. And that should be doable with max stats. Is a demanding par four from start we'll need some birdies for sure. But, oh, the wind again, my god. We, we could be alright here. It, kind of just got, it looks like you might just have to survive the the uh, the windy holes. There's normally only two to three. What kind of distance are we talking about here, David? Looks to be about 200 yards. Is that backwards or not? I don't think it is. We've avoided the tree, that's good. And this will end up on the cutting surface. Been aggressive here, we've been aggressive! Ooh! Nearly got that in. Bravo. That would have made up for the par on the first hole. But if you get... If you get birdies on the par threes... Not the... Uh, okay, 31 seems... Pretty okay, you got room for error there. Depends on the par fives. But I think there's a, a slight room for error. The twelfth hole is a long. And hopefully, time. back to back window holes, it turn. might calm down a bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's the best plane to aim over here. We're on the black tees. If you get this wrong, though, if you get this wrong, you're screwed. Is it aim over here? Is this, is this a par five? It's a par five. Yeah, I think aiming over here and using the wind to help you out is the best play. This one is very long and off to the right. Let's see if it stays in play. Avoids the tree. There we go. I think that's the best shot you can play from there. Really, a thread of the needle a little bit there. But I think off the, I do think off the uh, the black tees you can't really get here. We're going to try here. I'm going to aim it to the right so we avoid those trees to the left for sure. Looks like this one could use a little more giddy up. Okay. If I played a normal shot, I, I, I think I'm, I could have been. I was risking the trees. This ball close now. But we've got the birdie. A big, smelly hanging putt here. We've got Very the birdie. So just get this close, get the birdie. And it's job done, really. Though it is another leeway I use actually, because I'm assuming I can, I can eagle these and you can't, and that's the problem. It might actually be less lenient than I thought here. If I make this, I'm a genius, but I think this will just get close. Ah, oh, that wasn't a bad attempt. Far too much power, but. I mean, we're off the green, but it should just be a whack. 
I've got to make this, otherwise we're screwed. So just whack it. Anybody know any hard games? There we go. Birdie. Move. Yeah, we're averaging more than what we need here with 11. That would be 33. But obviously that assumes the par stay the same, which they won't. Because I haven't hit a par 3 yet. But th there's a lot of... Oh, the wind. The wind's back. The wind is back. It's uphill. A bit of power boost on the wind. Nice swing. Should be safe but on the green. Bit of forest spin. Close to the hole. That'll do. Job done. It's imperative we at least get a birdie here. If we go for the hole in one, we might actually mess up our birdie chance, and that was screwed us run over. We'll get the birdie. It's imperative we get birdies now. On the par fours and threes. Because the par fives tend to be very hard to eagle, as we just saw. Hole 14 is a par 4 of moderate length. The shot off. Alright, par 4 moderate length. Uh, yeah, okay. They're not target proof, so we, we can't hit it just. We can just hit it over. I, I'm going to hit it high, high stance here because I'm concerned on the, you know, when it, on the down arc. It's so close. It might hit the building. This plus the wind. We'll make sure we avoid oh, that. Oh, look at the air underneath this drive. We need the carry. Downhill significantly. Wind is is in favour. Play a six iron with a bit of power boost. Nothing wrong with that swing. Bit of forward spin. That's a bit too much forward spin. Fuck. Come on, Faraday. We're gonna have to take away Mr. Mike. And that might be run over. The fast moving. The fast moving greens have done me here. They've done me. It's run over. I don't think we can save this now. I'd be very surprised if we can. We're gonna try. Nice power on that. Uh, the, the, the greens went insanely fast, and we've blown it. I think. Have we blown it? Four, eight, twelve. If we average three, we get twenty-nine. Oh, that was a good shot, and then I, I, I ruined it with my spin. Oh god. This tee shot is heading to the right. The rings not done much there. I played a normal shot, so the wind's been less effective. Now birdie here is a must, I think. Pitch and wedge. Should get this pretty close. We have. This ball looks to be on target. A little bit of spin just to make sure we don't wreck it this time. There we go. The Get the birdie. Let's settle ourselves down. Keep our composure. The last one's a par five. That's and it's a true par five, so that's that's plus four. So we've got what seven shots. We got we have seven shots for the last two for these two holes here. The tee shot off the sixteenth crosses a ravine. Low. Seven shots. You got a little pop in your swing, but you could always use a little more. They might both be par fours as well, so we might have to. Uh, Birdie one part of the other, which is actually, yeah, that, that's pretty lean in actually. Oh god, don't carry off, don't carry too far, don't carry too far. Okay, we're fine. This was a hard par four actually, because the approach shot here is really awkward. That gets really easy to miss an approach shot, to be honest. Oh, you gotta love that one. Yeah, that's right where we are. That'll do. It can be hard to mess up. But we haven't messed this one up. So group it's a really good shot. It's left an easy foot too. And we got the birdie we desperately needed. Found the hole for a nice birdie there. It's quite a lenient target. Ideally this is a par three, but I think it's a par four. No, we only had one par three. There could be a second. The signature oh it is, it's the Spartan helmet, duh. Par three. The water hazard in okay, okay, oh, okay, that's a good camera angle. Okay. Okay, getting a, a birdie here is not really in question with that wind. The wind's been really harsh today. But I think get the par, that's all we need. Then it's a birdie for the, for the par five. We're just going to make sure we actually get there. Watch out for that long grass here. 
You know that I can do with the wind. For you, was not worth the risk. Take the part. The game's forced our hand, though, to be honest. I'm actually going to pitch this. I think this is going to be a safer play. I think a chip could go awfully wrong. So just get it relatively close. Get the get the, get the bird. Uh, get the par even. Done for I had to play a par. The wind forced our hand. A three wood is just too risky. If we go for a three wood, going for the birdie over the entire hole, boom, you're done. Run over. You have to restart. I just realised I need par. I don't even need a birdie here. I need a par. No. The 18th hole is the okay. Just, yeah, yeah. This is quite lenient. The wind again, though, is a bit ridiculous. Like that's four holes, I think. That's four holes with significant wind. It's normally only two to three at most. This one's right down the middle. So it's a good job we only need a we only need a par here. Right. How much is that wind going to come into play? Oh, how much is that wind going to come into play? I can't aim for the green. I will never get there. I'm going to aim over here, because if I end up in the rough, if it overhits, I'm not in the bunker. We're a little weak. If I hit that further left from my distance, I could end up in the bunker. I would, I would have been fine from the looks of it, but it wasn't worth David. the risk. Okay, Gary. About 170 yards left the hole. Okay. We only need a par here, so this under hitting is not a problem. A two putt's going to be fine. We're being conservative because I just need a par. I think. Yeah, I just need a par. We just got to make sure this does not uh, over here because it's going to go all the way down the hill. That's a weak looking putt. Played it safe. I knew that was probably too short, but we only needed a par. This victory under your belt, there's no so, I played it conservative there. If I was going for the birdie, I would have been a bit more aggressive there, but if I'm too aggressive, all the way down the hill, I'm resetting this entire thing. So it was just, just better to just to make sure it lands short, tap into par, win the event. You've got to play the, you've got to play the objective. Especially on some of these courses, because they're insane. I thought I'd blown it with that roll into the bunker. I really thought I'd blown it. But the game's quite lenient. Well, the challenge is quite lenient. And I need to go to the bloody uh, game face now. Because we do get a shirt. We get 17,500, which I think is one of the biggest rewards I've seen for the Real Time calendar. And the throwback driver is from the Tiger, Tro the Tiger Trophy ball, I'd, I'd imagine. I got that from the last season, man. It's a driver, wasn't it? Look, it was a driver, yeah. There it is. So I got this from the uh, the Tiger was Trophy Ball for tournament wins, I think, in the season, something like that. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. You think I would? I never, I never played it yesterday, but there you go. As for the Greek Car Challenge, you get this shirt. Yeah, one of the better ones for the for, for the events, to be fair. You know, with the with the, with the club logo, with the course logo, wasn't it? But for now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time for some more Let's Play Tagless PDA Till 2005, the World Time Calendar.